Good evening, I'm News for Jack's meteorologist Rebecca Berry checking in on the latest. Here's Hurricane Maria weakening to a Category 3 storm as it ravaged Puerto Rico. It's expected to re-intensify into a Category 4 storm tonight or tomorrow morning and then make a turn to the north, keeping it just off of our coastline enough to bring us drier weather for the beginning of next week and waves in between now and then. Locally, things are pretty quiet. We had some isolated inland showers. They are fading as we head into the evening hours, and that leaves us with a mild and quiet night headed into the upper 60s and low 70s. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny and dry for most of us as we head into the upper 80s for an afternoon high. We have about a 20 or 30 percent chance for showers, mainly to the north of I-10, especially for our inland counties tomorrow afternoon. Moving into Friday, the first day of fall, that's when our northeasterly wind set in, associated with Maria moving towards uh, the northern portion of her forecast track there that'll bring us northeasterly winds as she moves past the state of Florida so on Friday and Saturday. Saturday coastal clouds and coastal showers will wander on shore accounting for a 40 percent chance for rain and cloudier skies. We start to dry out and clear out on Sunday as our winds shift and drier air as Maria moves north of us pushes into our forecast for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday lowering our chances for rain and increasing our chances for sunshine. For more information you can read our detailed analysis on newsforjax.com. Have a great night. Right.